What's up party people and what's up mom? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a full-time reseller online and I go to the bins a lot. It's not a secret. <laughs> and I went to the bins again and I beat my 100 pound haul. This time I got 136 pounds. 136 pounds, that's like a grown skinny adult or like my teenagers boy my my boy anyways <laughs> I went to the Goodwill outlet today here in Salt Lake City Utah and it was insane it was such a good day I actually stayed there for like five hours generally I stay there for maybe three so that just tells you how crazy it was um, 136 pounds at a dollar 19 per pound and I did get two hard goods hard goods that she charged me a dollar each for. So total, I spent $163.82 for this incredible haul that you were about to see. I'm gonna start with the hard goods. I got this, it's a little ball thing. Anti-burst exercise ball. Includes a workout DVD, a dual action hand pump, Fits heights five three and under. I didn't see that until just now, and I bought it for myself. I am not under five three. I am completely over five three. Anyways, I got this. It is new, so maybe I'll try and sell it. Who knows? I also got this bag of bean bags or whatever for cornhole. They're American flag style. We don't even have a cornhole anymore. Somebody ran it over while we were camping. So, you know, they're expensive. So maybe I'll give this to one of our friends that does have one. I lied, this is one more thing. It's a Yahtzee, um, new in the package, and I tried it and it does still work. So, there we go. You know me, I... Let's just jump in, basically. No, I'm not even gonna say anything. You saw how long the video was. I hope that you make it all the way through. And if you do, we'll see you at the end. <laughs> Let's go. First up, somebody put these bad boys back. These bad boys are called Red Wing. Way to start off with a bang. Um, I think they put them back because they couldn't see a size because that's the only thing I can't find is the size. Red Wing made in USA, they're in great condition. Um, of course, I've, I haven't like cleaned any of these or washed anything yet um, straight from the bins. So I'll just have to figure out what size these are and then list them. Next, these are Antonio Milani. I don't generally pick up this brand, but these are really cute sandals. And they're in great shape. They're a size 8. Yes. Size 8. These, I've sold once before a pair of boots. Um, these are called naughty monkey and these are sandals they have ankle straps and like a thong sandal as well they got tassels they got pom-poms they've got embroidery what else do you want these are a seven and a half and I you know expect maybe 20 to 25 bucks for these they're cute and super lightweight Let's move that. Okay. These are dance goes. These, I believe, are the only dance goes that I picked up this time. Last time I picked up a bunch more. These are a cute, like, Mary Jane style. Uh, these are a size 40, so a 9 or 10. Good condition on the bottom. Here's some Olakai. The last Olakais I've been picking up were men's. These are women's. They're a gold metallic sandal. What size? I didn't look to see. Let's 
see his size when I was there. I wonder if Olakai is notorious for having hard to find sizes because I couldn't, it was hard to find on the other ones too. That's the Olakai symbol. I saw it in a bin upside down like that and I knew that that's the Olakai symbol so I just grabbed it. So. Oh my gosh, all of these Keens were like in a corner of a bin. I don't know if somebody threw them back or what. But Keen leather boots. I just need a Wonder Balls in them. I wonder if something went here. Not sure. It's not on the other one. These are women's size seven. And as soon as I get Wonder Balls them on them, they'll be tip top shape and ready for to be sold. Ready for to be sold. Sure. Here is another pair of Keen. These are like kind of like duck boots, but not uh, rubber bottom. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here. These are eight and a half. Oh, that's interesting because I thought these would have been the same. They do have a little wear on the heel. It's fine. But I will clean these up and they will sell. Again, if you want anything, find me on Instagram. It's the fastest way to reach me. I'm hoping that most of this stuff will be listed by the time this video goes out. Um, if you want to see like how I price things, check out my Poshmark. That is listed down below. Here is one, uh, Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand. And these are six and a half. These are the Lehman, L-E-Y-M-O-N. Anyways, these are like a cute cowboy style. And again, with the Wonder Balls, I'm going to clean these bad boys up and sell for like 20 to 30. Here's another pair of Keens. I was questioning whether or not to get these ones in particular just because of the shoelaces. Obviously, I got them. It won't deter me. I will just note that, basically. These are waterproof hiking boots in a size 8. Those are good. 30 bucks all day. And these are cute little Sperry. I sold these so fast. Actually, I bought some of these for me. Didn't end up liking the way that they fit. These are a size 10. Listed them and they sold so fast. This is a while ago, but I want to say for like 50 bucks or more. Anyway, see Sperry, Duck Boots. That's a good pickup. I've been picking up a lot of 10s late, lately, I've noticed. Maybe I should have left these. I didn't realize. But these are a Nike... Uh, what are these called? Hyper Quickness. I looked them up. These are a 7.5 men's. I assume they're like a basketball shoe. Clean them up and list them for probably 30 or 35. I don't remember. I don't want to go through all of my good shoes already, but here they are. This is Converse. And this is a Joker style. <laughs> High top Joker, Batman and Joker. I'm sure these will, I didn't look these up. You don't look this kind of stuff up. These are a men's nine, a women's 11. So it's kind of in that awkward phase, but I don't think I'll have a problem selling these. Oh, look, it says the Joker right on the tongue. And they're in really great shape. I didn't look these up, but I expect probably 40 plus. Ooh, you guys. If you watched my um, thread up rescue, you would have saw that I found this brand in there, Fat Farm. And it's funny that I find it at the bins and they're like new. I didn't look it up. I just like bought it. They're size 10 because they're so lightweight. They're driving loafers. I haven't even list like the Fat Farms are sitting right there to, for me to take pictures of. So let's hope that that was a good choice. 
Okay, these are what, hold on. Okay, so I met a friend at the bins. She was here in town from Florida. I forget her name. I'm so sorry, but she came up to me and she told me she watches my videos um, and she's gonna, you know, her son moved here two months ago. And anyway, she gave me these Sorrells. And these are kids Sorrells, size three. How cute are these? So cute, but she had to pack all of her stuff to take home, obviously, to Florida. So she gave me some items, and I was super appreciative of that. So nice. Okay. Next. I got a remote. I looked this up, and it, like, sells for 15 or so. It's just a Sony remote. And I looked in the battery compartment there's no like corrosion or anything so I bought it these are little Merrill leather sandals cute corally orange color these are size 8 and they're in decent condition okay these are so cute they're uh, like a suede leather and they're probably, I don't know if they're meant to look distressed like this, but they have leopard print. Obviously I had to grab them immediately. Ooh, something's in here. Some, something. Anyways, these are old gringo boots. These are a size eight. And I think these are expensive, right? Like here's the other one. And they're in really good shape. So, so cute. Love those. I don't know what they'll go for. I don't look up much at the bins, but I do look up some things. So these I looked up. These bags. So they're the same brand, uh, which is this. I don't know how to pronounce it. That is the name of this bag. And these go for a lot. These are not in like the best shape. There it is on the inside again. They do have wear. Um, it's an orange bag or yeah, orangey, I don't know. And a yellow bag, same thing. Um, they're not in the great shape. Like they're, it's branded on the front, but they are listed around $100, you know, 70 to $100 by themselves. So I'm going to lot these together and list them for a hundred bucks and, or a little bit more. There's this one again and see how they go. It's interesting. They, they're buttery soft leather. I've just never seen this brand. So we'll try it. We'll try it. Mm. Okay. These are really cute. Steve Madden. Uh, these are a size eight and they're just like a suede perforated espadrille. So cute. 20 to 25 bucks. They look new, except for when you look at the bottom. Like they don't even look worn until you look at the bottom. Okay. Ooh, I lied. Here's another dance go. So it's another Mary Jane style. Looks like it just snaps on the side there. And they're black and they're a size 41. Here's the other one. Let's see how it snaps there. It gives you three options for a snap. Good condition. There we go. Dance go. These are a born boot. I don't know why I keep picking up Born. It's like they, they aren't selling it. I think I've got them listed too high. That and it's summer, so, or spring, summer. Anyways, these are a brown leather ankle boot with a buckle there. They are a size nine. And I'll expect to probably get, I don't know, 30 bucks 
or so for those. Let's see. These are J slides, which I'm still experimenting with. These are a size eight and a half. These are a leather, like no lace shoe here. Here's the other one. Uh, this one looks like it was at Goodwill. They wanted $4. Nobody bought them. So to the bins they went. Um, these ones have a story, a backstory, a little bit. So these are Solomon, which I really like Solomon. These are a size seven and a half. Uh, men's, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, so I was going, these were banded together in the bin. I grabbed it. I grabbed one out of the bin. They're banded together. And the lady next to me grabbed this one and ripped it out. And I looked at her. She's like this old lady. And she just looks at me like, and I'm like, give me that. <laughs> that was mine. Give it. And she acted like she didn't know what en English. And so I just, I, this is her. She has it in her hand. She's looking at it. And I'm like, excuse me. I was going, or I had that in my hand. And then I put my hand on it and start taking it out of her hand, put it in my car and left. I did not want to be near that lady if she's going to be still in shoes right out of my hands. Anyways, <laughs> that's that story. I was like shocked. Like that has never happened to me before. And you don't get away with that just because you're old. <laughs> not with me anyways. These are fry. Uh, leather shoes. These are a size 10. I don't know if they're men or women. Probably women's. I like the texture on the fry. There's the logo. These are probably a $30 holler right there. Or more. I don't know. I do look up comps when I go to list. This is Mephisto. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I, the first or the last time, or I always... When I saw this, I was a little confused. There, I'm trying to show you that. <laughs> because I feel like I've seen this on like Birkenstocks kind of thing. And I think I did. Um, obviously, I didn't look these up. But I, I correlate Mephisto with Birkenstocks. So hopefully they're decent. These are a size 37, so probably six and a half or seven. We've got another lucky brand. These are eight and a half, and they're the Boyd, B-O-I-D-E. Anyways, leather, or suede leather, nice bottoms. They got a fake zipper on the outside and a real one on the inside. These will probably go, I don't know, they're in decent condition. Maybe 30 to 40, who knows, I don't. Oh, right off the top of my head. Here is a Steven by Steve Madden. Nothing too crazy, but these are cute perforated ankle boots in great shape. Like they have some crud on the bottom, but we'll get that off. These are a size, oh, these are called the Denise, and they're size eight. And as soon as fall hits, I will have all the ankle boots. I'll be ready. Looks like we have a pair of Ariat boots. Maybe I shouldn't have got these. I'm just noticing that there's like a chunk out of the bottom. I'll just, I mean that one. I'll mention that, I guess. I'll wonder balls them. These are a US 10 and a half, 10 and a half. Yep. But I like me some Marriott boots. So I bought them. I'm like running out of room. Okay. These are a fun little one. They're new with tags. Fly London. Fly London, new with tags, that's insane. These are a size 38, so a seven and a half or eight. 
and I was not the first one in this bin, so I don't know why they didn't get sniped, but this brand is a really hard move for me, um, so I don't know how much I'll get for these, but these are a really cute blue suede. Look, there's the fly on there. Cute. The inside zip. I don't know how much I'll get for this. Okay. Next. Hold on. And all my stuff didn't fit. I'm going to have to take more bags with me every time I go, I think. I got another pair of Danner boots. Danner. These ones are in better condition. These are 12. These are the Acadia 8 inch black 400G. Here they are. They have a little American flag. On this side, it says Gore Tex. They're a lace up boot. Here's the other one. 100 bucks. Or more. I didn't look them up. Let me dump these out. Okay, these are so cute. These corks by Corky's little leather sandals. Oh, so cute. These are a size eight. These are a really good size. So cute. The leather does have some discoloration on that. I will try and get that off. If not, I'll just note it. Um, little slides. How cute. Okay, this brand is Troy, Troy Lee Designs, if you can look in there, Troy Lee Designs. So I bought that motorcycle bag that I thought was a saddle bag, but it was a helmet bag. Now I find these shoes, I didn't look these up, but I think they're cycling shoes or are they like part of this brand? I forget what this brand is called. I'll have to look it up. So I don't know. Oh, and they also say Adidas on the inside. So right here, look, Adidas. That's interesting. I will tell you what comps are on the screen, and I hope I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Which I shouldn't be, because I've got a lot of shoes already. Here's that brand again. Um, I learned this from... Chris, the Bonafide Hustler. I forget what the name of the brand is. Ah. 510? Oh yeah, because it looks like a 5 this way. And then a 10. Or whatever. I don't know. That's what it says. And then it says Stealth Rubber on the bottom of these. These are suede. I am going to have to dye them a little bit. Uh, these are a smaller size. Seven and a half. Little shoe. Now we've got a boot. Imagine that. Brown boot, double buckle, Paul Green. What? Crazy. Paul Green boots. Yeah. Wild. Okay, these are a size. nine or something. I don't know. I think Paul Green has some sort of weird sizing. I see a size one in there. I see a size nine in there. I'll have to do, oh, they're six and a half. Anyways, I'll have to look up the size conversion. They're in really good shape. Where's the other one? Looks like, ooh, they've got 9.99 written on the bottom. That's lovely. She also got eight and a half written on the bottom. So I'll have to look into that and hopefully I can get that off. Anyways, Paul Green is a good brand to find. Okay, I got some Uggs. <laughs> I said that weird. And they're just a Sherpa lined clog, suede. What size are they? They are a size 10. Ugh. Okay, and this is a nice segue to the incredible amount of oboes that I got today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw my cart picture that had like 8,000 oboes in it. I did dwindle it down 
to about half. These are a size 10. Everything's scribbled out, so I wonder what happened here. But anyways, these are women's hiking shoes. Oboes is a good brand. Uh, some of these have issues. Um, not this pair. Like, I mean, they have a little wear right here, but nothing too crazy. Let me get my oboes bag. Here's another pair of oboes. These, see like this has a little action there. Uh, these are a size 11. These are men's. Grab these oboes. These are a nine. Haven't figured out if they're men's or women's yet, but these are a nine. And they have like somewhere on the back, but not bad. These ones are eight and a half. And these ones are good. Where's your mate? Here's your mate. Awesome. Next are these ones. These ones are a 12 wide men's. These ones have a little bit more wear, but still good. These, again, have this little thing here. Um, these are a size, that one's scribbled out. 10. Still don't know men's or women's. I will figure it out. Next, we have a nine and a half. <laughs> if you don't know oboes, you should look them up. Um, I'm pretty lucky because I do live in the mountains. So we have like outdoor, a lot of outdoor places here. Um, but those like oboes generally retail for over a hundred dollars. And this is my last pair of oboes. And I ended up throwing a lot of them back mostly the boots because of stuff like this like this part's broken it's supposed to be a hook like this but i'm just gonna mention it and see you know these ones are size 12 and these are in really great shape besides that i think that's why i decided to get these ones um yeah but that's all the shoes. <laughs> so I'm going to figure my life out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. I got my clothing portion of the haul. I counted really fast and I have 44 items so far that I've shown you. 44 already. Holy crap. And look, I got my Ikea bags here. Three more. So let's jump in these are all like clothing items from here on out so first we got piranha size four and these are just another outdoor brand they have a distressed hem and kind of like a pattern that's their logo yes at the very end i didn't go over like I didn't look at anything and I think this is the bag from the very end because I don't I probably would have thrown this back but this is just a pink Victoria's Secret Henley pocket tee the spell out on the back size medium this one does have stains and I do know that so I will just try and stain treat it this is just the North Face size medium just a fleece Full zip with thumb holes. This I don't even like. It's free, people. 
size medium. It's inside out, but it's like this chenille sweater with a cutout on the back. It's like a tunic sweater. Yeah. Here is another pink. Maybe I decided I might lot these up, but this one's a size small, so I don't know. And this is just a half zip pullover. This is a bra. So I met a girl named Shelby there. Um, and she told me that she made a thousand dollars last month specifically in bras. I'm like, oh my gosh, well bras are super light. So I'm going to try it. This one is called, I don't know, Liliette. It's a 36 double D and it looked like a really comfortable bra. <laughs> so I got it. It's got thick straps. It's got an underwire. It's got three prongs on the back. We'll see. I have sold bras in the past, so, you know. I didn't know that soft surroundings did pants. These are size 14. And these are work pants, like a wide leg, or no, it's kind of a straight leg, brown pant. That's exciting. That's new. I didn't know that. Now I do. I'm a rapper. This I decided to get just because it's 100% lamb's wool. And it's J. Crew size XL women's lamb's wool sweater. That's it. It needs a little bit of a peel shave, but 100% lamb's wool. This, oh, is champion size medium. Just a sweater. This is like a teen size medium or something because this is not an adult size medium. I think this might even be a little bit too small. It's probably like a 7-8 or a 10-12. I don't know. I think this is even too small for my kid, Autumn. These are Lucy size small leggings. Purple full length leggings. And Lucy, you always know Lucy from the stitching there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Shelby gave me some active wear because she doesn't like active wear. She likes bras, but she left. So I got some bras <laughs> that I was going to give her. This is Body by Victoria 38D. It's like Victoria's Secret. I don't know. She got me all inspired. So here's a bra. I have sold some of those. You remember, if you watch, <laughs> I got some Waco and huge, like, Torrid bras. I sold some of those already. So, you know, there you go. This is a Lane Bryant pant, uh, size 24, polka dot or polka square, I guess. Pants, kind of like a straight leg. These might actually be a capri. Cuteness. This is upside down and inside out. This is just Vince Camuto, size large. I just like the size and the fact that it was sleeveless. <laughs> this I didn't even look up. Again, like I said, this is like my very last bag before we left. Um, I don't know what this is. Wish list size medium. It has a ta tag on it that says Vint. I don't know what that is either. Um, but it is a maxi dress. I think these, wait, let's figure this out. So it goes up and then this kind of hangs on your shoulder. And it's this really cute blush pink, crepey maxi dress with a tie. I know nothing about this. It's probably some boutique -y brand, but this is really, really cute. And that's all I know about that. Okay. Next. 
I found a lot of pants. This one's new to me. I did look it up and I wanted to try it. Uh, Revice maybe, a size 27. I like the style. That's why I grabbed them. They're a high rise distressed skinny. Yeah, they caught my eye and I grabbed it. I like the back. It looks like the American flag there. So we'll give her a go. These, same Z's. Dylan, size six. And these are 100% tinsel or rayon or one of those tinsel shorts. And I thought they were kind of cute. Cargo shorts. Grab those. Here is some men's diesel jeans. The Viker. They are a 33-32 button fly straight leg jeans. They do have a stain on one of the knees. It's this one. I'm going to try and get it out and see how it does. I know the women's diesel doesn't do well. At least for me, it doesn't. We'll try men's. This is cute. This is Sundance, the new Sundance label. Uh, size small. This is 100% cotton. Little top, little boho top with flowers and tassels. So cute. This is garbage. <laughs> Just realizing it has holes in it. Okay, this one, <laughs> moving right along. American Eagle. This is an older, you know, one. It's a button fly, size four, just a mini skirt. A denim mini skirt, distressed. Mini skirt. We got Amber Crombie and Fitch, size four. These are like a straight leg crop. These were rolled up at the bottom here at the bins, but I pulled it out. Those are cute. I like those. Here's another newer Sundance. This one has a size taken out, but I'm going to call it a medium. It's a really cute crochet type, just over top. I don't know if there's supposed to be an under top, but I only have the over top. This is a Hollister. I got like all the teeny bobber brands. Look at how tiny these are. Low rise, booty short, a little distress, a little booty. Tis the season. This I was shocked to find. This is a Columbia Omni Shield, Omni Heat, size medium. I wear this like 100% of the time if I'm wearing a jacket. And I found one in the bins. Oh, mine has... Oh, these ones do too. I was going to say, mine has thumb holes. <laughs> this one does too. Um, these I probably list for, I don't know, 50, I think. 40 or 50. This is in really great shape for being white. It's actually a little bit cleaner than mine. I am going to bleach wash it though. Because there is some discoloration. But that's exciting. Okay. More pants. These are cabbie. I was kind of shocked that I grabbed these. They are a size four, they're the high straight. So they're high rise, straight leg, wrinkly. They're not really, let me grab this other leg. They're kind of like a slim straight, but I like the dark wash, I like the high rise. And there's minor distressing. I just thought they were cute. So I grabbed them. I paid more attention to the clothing this time. Um, here's another Lucy. These are a size extra small pant. They've got pockets in the front and they're a capri with some cinch sides. Again, there's a Lucy. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed these. These are kind of pilly. Yeah. I need to remember to look at the crotch. I'll try and sweater shave those and see how they do. This one was a shocker to me. I actually like was in the bins and I like, what? I've never found this in the wild. It's the Dig and Voltaire. 
size 34. They are a little messed up because they're bleeding. They're bleeding, but they're like a nylon pant. And I wasn't going to leave this Zadig and Voltaire in the bin. I wasn't going to do it. Okay. These are Athleta, size 4. Looks like all of these pants are size 4. So these are just a pull-on pant. Oops. With pockets straight leg back pockets too I can dig it these I'm not sure what these are these are under armor size extra large I thought maybe they were bicycling pants but they're not because the padding's on the sides here it's interesting not on the butt on the sides I don't know that's interesting I like the size and I like the brand, so I grabbed it. This is for Jeremy. I found another one of those jackets for him. Oh, yeah. This was just funny. It's just the Gold's Gym. I think it's small. Actually, let's see. This doesn't say. Yes, it is a small. And it's like a burnout gold's gym tank i don't know probably not gonna go for much but i like it <laughs> come on okay i had to get this right dumbledore's army like duh you don't leave this in the bin i have a little nephew that maybe my brother will let him wear this i don't know if my brother jordan's into harry potter as much as i am but how cute is that Okay, we've got North Face again. These are a women's extra large. They're the zip off hiking pants or camping pants. You can also do a roll tab. They can be capris. You got a stow pocket here, it says. Come on now. Stow pocket. keeps zipping up itself. All right. I'll get it later. But yeah, perfect timing to have these pants. Ooh, this was a good brand. I had to look this one up. Gore Bike Wear. This is a, sorry, I got cut off there. I had an alarm go off. Anyways, this is a, like a bike jacket and retail there a lot. Uh, this one does have a stain here, I'm noticing. So I'll just stain treat it. But this is a good find. I don't know how much it's going to go for, but they retail for a lot. These were new to me as well. Um, this is Climb Aware. Size medium leggings. This is what the logo looks like. Uh, right there. Looks like a fish hook or something. Anyways, these leggings were good enough to buy. I was shocked, like surprised, I guess, at comps. Like these will go for 35 or 40 used. These are AG, Adriana Goldschmied. These are the leggings, super skinny in a size 29 regular. They're gray. 25, 30 bucks for that. This was interesting to find. Amanda Up Richard. This is a size P, which I think is just a small. I don't know. But it's just a black blouse with little ruffle sleeves. I thought that was cute. It has a little tie that I'm just barely noticing. I didn't notice that while I was there. This one is Mountain Khakis, which is another good brand, size small. And this is just a floral dress. Mountain Khakis, it has pockets. It's kind of like a Henley style in the front. It buttons up. Cute. 
me get some coats. This was on the top of a bin and I was like so shocked that nobody grabbed it. Now I'm like, is there like a big hole in it somewhere or what? Cause it's spider and it's an extra large 18 to 20. It's like kids down puffer and I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Spider. I got it. These are Fabletic. They have the rip tag still. This is the Power Hold made by Fabletics. Size so small. And this plum purple looks like a high rise full length legging. This is a newer to me brand. Yummy. Uh, this one's new with tags. It has a retail of 34 bucks and this is just a tank top um, it does have some dirt wear from the bin I'll just you know note that and I'll still sell it oh this was cute I did get some kids stuff this time too this is just Calvin Klein jeans look I think I swear I saw Jack and Ryan say something about a spell out on the arm or Calvin Klein or I don't remember. This is a kid size 10, 12. It's just a polo. Cute. Oh, this is a newer to me brand too. I still sent this brand to thread up back in the day and they were like just ponchos and they sold so fast. This is called Celeste. And if you look there, it's wool and cashmere and it's a size medium and it's a sweater very lightweight sweater i didn't see any holes in it um but you never know stuff <laughs> stuff pops up later as well but this is a really pretty color i'm gonna try it must sell oh i got this because pride month is june and i don't know this brand or anything i like the size it's a 2x and it has rainbows all over it Pride month coming up. Cute. Speaking of Pride month. <laughs> Done with that one. Okay, last bag. Last bag. This is Rough Hewn. This is a 2X and it's like a waffle knit pullover. It's got this cute like lace detail down the arm. I like the size and I like the brand, so I figured I'd try it. Another cute kid thing. This is just Baby Gap. Leopard print vest. Are you kidding? Three years old. It's cute. Okay, here's some American Eagle midi shorts. Yes. Size two. With some distressing. Here's another bra. Uh, this is a Victoria's Secret 32 double D uh, from 2019. Incredible by Victoria's Secret plunge. Oh yes, I do remember it being a plunge. I wish I had one of these. Not that I'm hanging with my boobies out, but look how deep that plunge is. And it feels really comfy, so. oh. And it's never been worn. Or if it has, it was worn with that on it. No. <laughs> Fun. Anyways, I'll try it. This one is Title Nine, size large. Jacket. Title Nine. Come on now. Size large. Full zip jacket with a cool print on it. Oh, I like it. Ooh, it has an arm zip too. Okay. This is another, this is probably the only pink one I should have gotten. But, you know, this is a size medium. And it's really cute, you know, mint teal color. It says love on one side, pink on the other. Full zip. Oversized even. 
Okay. This is American Eagle. This one came out recently because I looked. 2019. This one's just so cute with size large. Long sleeve. This is like so comfy. It's got this cute stripe. Sure. So comfy. So squeezy. Shelby gave me this because, like I said, she doesn't like to do active wear. This is athleticized medium. And it's just like a shirt. I didn't look this up, but it looked good enough for me. This I got based off style. It's just H and M. It's a US small. It's a leopard print, long line, oversized cardigan. And cardigans are so hard to show, but cute. This I got for me. I felt it and immediately it was like, that's for me. Um, I don't even know the brand. 90 degrees, size medium. It's a full zip, fuzzy jacket. Oops. Thumb holes. Yep, with thumb holes. It's for me. I like that. Okay, here's another American Eagle. These are shorts. And these are a size four. Look at how tiny, oh my gosh. Low rise, distressed, shorts. This, oh, this is new with tags. It's just Romley, but I'm gonna do like buy, sell, trade. It was cute, it has a big heart on it. Size small, cropped, long sleeve sweater. This I needed, I probably should have looked a little bit more into, but it's lamb's wool and nylon. It's, um, I don't even know this brand, but I liked it. Look at that turtleneck crappy. It does need a sweater shave, but I really like the sweater. So I got it. I got some down filled vests, thought lands in pink down filled vest so, or jacket sold so I figured I'd get some down filled vest. This is a size small in blue. This is Under Armour size small joggers with pockets. Somebody threw this at me and said if you do new with tags here's this. Let's guess. New with tags dress what size 10 cute long sleeve jewel tones that'll be perfect for fall this oh i didn't look this up i guess it's because it's new with tags sr fashions or fashion this um uh, what size are you large Anyways, um, it's an off the shoulder maxi dress, a ruffle at the bottom. It's really cute. It's not a large, definitely not. I'll have to figure out what size, it says large. Not if you're broad shouldered like me. I'd say probably a medium is better. Cute. Okay, this is new to me. I looked it up and so it came home. I just thought it was a blanket. Southwestern style blanket. Turns out that's not the case. Let me find where the brand is. That right here. That is the name of the brand right there. And like you can wear this. So. Put your body in there and then you can use these snaps. Hold on. Let's see. Anyways, you can have armholes. You can be warm. It's like a snuggie, but not. But that's it. 
I don't know why I bought that, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. How am I going to ship that? <laughs> this is Anne Klein. I only got it because it was new with tags. Looks like the dog got to the tags, but they didn't get to anything else. So, size 10. These are so cute. I'm going to see if my niece wants these. If not, they'll go to my kid's consignment. These are Nike size 6X neon little pants. So cute. Like velour. Mom, how cute would Brindley be running around in these? So cute. This is another American Eagle. This one came out in 2020. This is a size large. Look at how cute that sleeve is. And it's a cream sweater. Just cute. Hollister, size five, more shorts. These are a high rise short. We're almost done. These are Athleta, size medium. This is a squirt. Yes, a squirt. These are new tags. Or no, they're not. They're a wild fable size large, like a faux leather legging. I'm going to give these to a buy-sell trade store. Okay, another legging. These are Zella. Zella. Size small. I like the print on these swirly. It has a mesh little peek -a for your leg there. Full length legging. White Hurley shirt. XL. Buy sell trade store. What is that? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I haven't looked to see if it has dirt on it. This is a Nike size large. Shorts. Lightweight shorts. So cute. These are Dickies, new with tag size 30. They're dirty. Like, I need to be cleaned. And I'm going to try. But, you know, we'll see. <laughs> this I got because it was new with tags. I did look it up, this brand. And it's a cute little hat with little Mickey Mouse ears on the side. It was worth it to get it from the bins, so I just grabbed it. Here's another neon pink. This one's Lauren, Ralph Lauren Active, size large, down-filled vest. This would be perfect for running. Nobody will miss you when you're running with this on. And last but not least is for my son. And these are just divided, H&M, don't have to, they're real. And they're just joggers. He either wears gym shorts or joggers, nothing else. So these are for him. And let me count how many items I had, 44 before, let's count. Okay, I just counted all of the clothing items. I had 74 clothing items, so 74, 44, is 118 divided by however much I paid, I just did the math, is $1.39 per item and or per pair of shoes. $1.39? You guys, like come on. Sick. <laughs> All right, it's getting late. My son has a game. I need to get ready for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Give yourself a pat on the back. And I wish you all the cells in the world. And don't forget to stay weird. Bye, guys.